All right, let's play one more. I know I said I was gonna do some mod the gungeon. But you know what? I gotta, I gotta play. Some. I've got a, I've got a fever, and the only cure is more BCDD20 T runs. I really do feel like I'm on the verge of success with these. Just don't cock block myself again, says Milk Jug. <laughs> I mean, I did kind of screw myself on the last run by doing the forge instead of bypassing it entirely. Um, which I should have done. I mean, let's just be perfectly honest. I didn't, and that cost me a lot. I mean, that probably cost me the entire run. So let's try our best to play better, to make better decisions. Though I will admit, we picked up a, a lot of flawlesses on that run, which I'm very happy about. Pick up four of them. We, we even got the flawless on the dragon. Like, that should be a sign that you should just leave when you flawless the dragon. But I didn't. We even had LJ on the forge. Like, if LJ's not there, sure, I can understand maybe trying to do some more of that floor, but we had LJ on the dragon fight. We got the flawless. We should have just left. And I didn't. Cause I'm a little piece of shit. <laughs> but we'll, we'll give it another go. Um, actually, something I, that I want to do is do a quick restart first. Because if I do a quick restart, I have a better chance, I think, of getting items that we had on the previous run again. And I do want to get the, um, the crew, uh, not the crew teleporter. God, I'm thinking of FTL for some reason. The uh, personal teleporter prototype again. So let's do one more run, now that I have done a quick restart. I'm not gonna be able to keep that joke in about, uh, I got a fever, but the only solution, or the only cure is more BBC DD20 team because I'm gonna have to start the video here on YouTube. <laughs> let's do one more, come on. This is the run, this is the run. This is the run. Yeah, Slipner's right. It's all uh, 18Q's fault. They're not talking in chat that much. Hey, it's another Don't Blink room, which I do love. Um, could actually do something here with... Oh my god, there's so many of them. We could do something here with... Uh, Don't Blink Blobulon Rancher. We could summon a lot of blobs and get a lot of money that way. But I think I'm just going to kill the enemies that are here. And this might take a little while, but I think it is worth it. Well, there's one blob that we summoned. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> we'll do it from from this side, why not? It's a little easier, because it's left and right. There's no diagonal to it, but yeah. I just, I wanna win. I wanna win. That's, that's as much as there is to it. I have BCDD20T on the brain right now. I feel like we, we have a good shot, because I think my fundamentals are sound. It's just, the rare, I mean on the last run it wasn't rare, it was like every run on the forge. It's the occasional floor, the occasional room on a floor that just does me in, you know? Because the boss fights on the last run were freaking awesome. And in fact, I could have, like including the, the rat fight, it was pretty nice. I could have flawless every boss, except I stood still on the Treadnought fight. That was it. That was the thing that cost me the flawless on that fight, is I just stood still for a split second, and it was Poison Pursuit, and I forgot about it. And I got I got hurt. I hurt myself. If it wasn't for that, we would have had the flawless. So let's do our best on this run to make up for the mistakes on the last run, even if I don't get any flawless. As long as we win, that's a success. I mean, by definition. We fucking have it. We've got it. The only thing... The only thing that is, uh... Stopping us from winning is ourselves. We are holding ourselves back. With some of these stupid mistakes. And, uh, I mean, LJ also kind of holds me back sometimes. Iron Coin, you know what? We can take that with us to Bullet Hell and we can pop it on Bullet Hell. Hey, you know, every floor is gonna have something for us. I 
I really wanted to knock the grenade into the enemy who was approaching me. Oh well, that's gonna spawn a lot of blobs. The good thing about getting, if we can get it, the good thing about getting the, um... Summon more blobs. You know, I mean, we could we could just kind of spend our time here and just... I mean, we already have LJ. Uh, but anyways, the good thing about getting... It's gonna summon more blobs, isn't it? Good thing about getting something, I already forgot. <laughs> I mean, I guess the good thing about getting something that reduces shop prices is that it is a shop redu uh, price reduction in right now. You know, we can take advantage of that. Getting the getting the flawless on the first floor with LJ not terribly terribly difficult. I mean, it is going to be tough, but you know, I'd much rather have it now than on the third floor or on the fourth floor. Okay, chest broke. That's fine. Teleport far ahead. We already have 101 bucks. I mean, one thing is, one thing that made the last run really nice is that we ended up getting a lot of money. And because we had a lot of money, I could buy a lot of things. We bought three amulets and the reload stone, which was fantastic. Would love to have something similar happen here where we can just get a lot of money, buy the items that we feel like we are going to need to win. But we'll see. Well, that's a shop to my left. I I am happy. I'm happy to see a shop. I'm not happy that the brown chest is the one that we ended up destroying that was going to have the passive active in it because the blue chest had a gun, but I mean, nothing you can do about that, unfortunately. I don't really love having um, Joel's Revenge on a pot shot room, but actually it killed like two enemies so far, so what the hell do I know? <laughs> Okay, let's go take a look at that shop. I might just want to buy stuff immediately. He's got nothing! You fucking gooped an asshole. Well, you know what? There's a water barrel in there which we can use. I was really hoping for something out of that guy, but instead, he gave giving me literally nothing. You know what? Let's save our money. We got that going for us, right? Quick, quick! Come on. This is a boss fight. Uh, we should buy now. Buy that, buy that, and buy this. So we have reduced shop prices while we're holding the coin. We can hold the coin for a long time. Ideally, we'll hold it for bullet hell. See, right now my ideal, I you know, case solution here, my ideal scenario is we find the personal teleporter again, we go to bullet hell, and we pop the coins. Curse Ceramics, Gorgon's Gaze. Well, this is scary. It's scary, but it's actually pretty good. our gun changed. That was the only thing that I would have wanted to have happen, and it did happen. Oh, fuck you, LJ! <laughs> you piece of garbage! Now I'm not happy anymore. I was gonna say that, like, this is actually not a not a super difficult boss arena, because, um... Because once we deal with the pots, it's all just Gorgon's gaze. But, I mean, we, we already took some damage, so that's lovely. Because I think we took damage. Yeah, we did. We had armor. Why not just give me freaking Gull's Revenge? Why does it... Or uh, Gatling Gull. Why does it have to be the Trigger Twins every fight? I can't charge my gun! I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Just give me an item, and I won't quick restart. 
Because we did uh, quick restart a few times on the last run. Until I had, like, well, a start that wasn't just total trash. <laughs> what do we have here? I mean, we could get back up to full health, but then we have no items except for the coin. You know what? Let's do a quick restart. I, uh, I, I don't want to continue that run just because of the freaking damage we took on the first floor boss. I mean, I don't really want to do a, you know, constantly quick restart until you get super hot watch in the first item room, you know? That, that wouldn't be fun to watch. But I'll do one... I, I get one mulligan, okay? I get one mulligan that I can use whenever I want. That, that's my mulligan right there. I say no because we had freaking LJ, thanks to the wood beam. Another trigger twin fight. Maybe that'll be my mulligan, is if we get trigger twins and I don't get the flawless, then I'll mulligan because the trigger twins are far too common. I don't know what it is about them. It's the only boss I fight these days. And I hate him! Rats Revenge, Unfriendly Fire. Fuck! Although, if I can get the, um, the grenade... Kill some of these guys and... Yep, maybe I can get them all to die and I don't even have to shoot my gun. <laughs> That should be a challenge run. Can you do a run in Gungeon in which you can't shoot anything? You have to get them all to kill each other. I mean, that would work if all the enemies were replaced by grenades. Please die. Let's just stop reloading. We'd be seeing an awful lot of the first floor, that's true. I mean, that's that's why I don't want to do that. Just like continuously mulligan, but... Honestly, sometimes you see a lot of the first floor in these videos because I just die over and over again, even though I'm trying. Okay. I don't mind taking damage on enemies. I just don't want to take damage from... Uh, from a freaking trigger twin. Those guys can just go fuck off. Those bosses that I see every time. Seriously though, I find I see them way too often. And I stand by the idea that they are probably the most difficult uh, first floor bosses. I stress don't blink. You died a lot faster than I was expecting. You know, at some point I would like to try and kill enemies while jammed. But I can't do that all the time. Push him back. I can kill the, um... Ah, you know what, fuck it. I was gonna say, if I could kill the bullet and the blue shotgunner, like the bullet would blow up the shotgunner, it didn't work. Two, three, four, five, six. No! No! No, LJ! Shop's probably gonna disappear. I, I was reloading the fight saber, and by reloading the fight saber, <laughs> I pushed the blob away, and then I didn't kill the blob, and then the blob touched me because I was in my dodge roll animation. <laughs> That's what happened there. That's how I took that damage from that blob. Fuck you, blobber lord. F you, blob man! Why am I missing? It's like I'm pulling the trigger and the shot is kind of moving off to the side. Ammo. Perfect. Is the shop still intact? It is. That's good, because we're going to need it. Let's go and get the other chest. 
Ghost zone. There's one ghost. There's one ghost, good. There's a chest. Uh, you know what, let's use a key on it. Armor synthesizer, dude. That's a good item. That is a good item. Is it enough? I don't know, but it's really freaking good. I'm glad I opened the chest and didn't decide to, to shoot it, because I figured we could buy a key. Okay, okay, Armor Synth gives me an idea. It gives me a, a path in my head that we can take to win this. Buy the blanks. Lower shop prices, we might as well buy everything we can right now, including the heart. Uh, we don't care about Professor Gupton's stuff. It's all guns. Guns which should not be in the shop. They should be X's because we are in blessed mode, but I guess the first floor doesn't count for that. This is, this is good, this is good. Four blanks. I can kill a boss with four blanks with LJ. It's not gonna be the easiest thing in the world, but we can do it. This, I think, is the farthest away room. Just be Gatling Gull or Bullet King. It's Gatling Gull! It's... what? Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's one way of doing it. Holy shit, that's perfect. Walk into the room, it gives you makeshift cannon on Hammer Time Thermal Clips Gatling Gull Large Arena, Water Arena. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take a, uh, a makeshift cannon on the first floor boss. See, I think the game is like, you know what, you're right. You do get Trigger Twins too often. Here, have a Gatling Gull fight, and oh, we're not gonna, we're not even gonna let you have the, the, the effort of fighting the boss. We're just gonna kill him for you. Like, that's, that's the way the game feels. It feels like it's trolling me. It's trolling me because it gives me... <laughs> it gives me the fight against Gatling Gull, and then I don't even get to fight Gatling Gull! This fucking game. This game, I swear to you, it is alive. Also, I'm going to find the secret room. It will happen. We're gonna find the secret room. We're gonna blank it. We're gonna get an extra item or something. It's gonna, it, we're gonna open it, it's gonna be a black chest. It's gonna give me the reload stone again. And we're gonna go to town, we're gonna have fun. Now it's gonna give me uh, table tech bees again. Cause that's a good synergy when you get it. I wanna save some of these blanks, but we gotta find this secret room first. I guess it could be up here. We also do need to grab the, oh, careful. Grab the button so we know where the oubliette entrance is. I don't think it's there. I don't think I've seen this room yet. That big room with those, those tables positioned there. There are, there are a bunch of new rooms in AG and D that I, I still think I haven't seen. Because, like, sometimes I'll watch someone else play, my friend Chris, or people on YouTube or on Twitch. And I see rooms that I've never seen before. Even though I'm, like, 120 episodes into this series on YouTube. Oh, it's right there. Well, you know what? Pretty much perfect as far as I'm concerned. A gun, a gun. And a passive. Dude, I swear to you that, like, the quality of the chest determines the type of a payout. Ah, but then again, we had armor synthesizer, but that was a, that was an item room chest. I don't know, it's weird. Hyper Light Blaster, that's pretty good. We'll, t we'll keep this one, we'll take it. And you know what, explosive decoy is not bad at all. I'm happy to have it. Okay, okay, this is fine. This is just fine. We're not quite up at full health. I think that's okay. Four health. Armor synthesizer. 
Explosive decoy. That's a pretty good start for a BCDD20T run. Let's just hope that we can keep it going now. <sighs> like, two seconds. I can't get two seconds of peace in my runs. <laughs> the heavy sigh. At least, well, at least we had a pretty good gun for this room. Activate the shop. I see a key, I see two red hearts. We'll come back to you later, shop man. Honestly, this floor doesn't really matter to me too much. Like, if we... If we get the uh, the flawless on the boss, we don't get anything from it, so I don't really care too much about, you know, losing HP, spending resources. Careful. This floor is all about just kind of stacking up money, keys, Maybe some extra items if we can get them. Three blanks, a key, and a jetpack. We'll come back to you. Long live the King Blobulon Rancher. Okay, well, guess I'll just get hit. <laughs> Shoot the king! Oh, fuck this. I, 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 I don't think I can actually do this room. I think I'm gonna lose on this room. No, the weapon changed. Oh, thank fucking God. Jesus Christ, this, oh, these weapons that have like auto-targeting are so bad. Any weapon that has auto-targeting in this game is basically a weapon that I never want to see again. Make it happen, game. At least I only lost armor, you know, we didn't get hit 16 times by that jammed, uh, Or that jam boy, that jammed veteran. If I had the decoy, it would have been easier, but I, I had already used the decoy in the previous room. Jesus, <laughs> careful, dude. Curse ceramics pot shots. Right, the curse ceramics will also pot shot. I forgot about that. We haven't been cursed yet. We do not want to get cursed. I'll take half a hit. Taking half a hit on a room like this, that's not a problem. Okay, at least it's the good water gun, as opposed to the bad water gun, AKA Mega Dowser. Uh, let's lock pick it, we'll open it. Table tech tables, or a portable table. That's very interesting. I had a, a custom run not too long ago in which I used the table item. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. If I can get one table tech item, table tech blank, stun, rage, this will be amazing. Yeah, yeah, I think this is fine. Cause, like, hell, even that, that situation on that room, I could have put down a table, flipped it, had contact immunity, and then run through the enemies. You know, there are reasons why I think having portable table device is good. Hell, we can just, you know, put the tables down and flip them for invincibility on boss fights if we really want to. There's ways that we can make this work. I think I think I'm okay with this. It's it's finicky. That's the thing though. Table tech Table I keep wanting to call it a table tech item, but portable table device is finicky to use, but it's definitely possible to use. Like on this room, we just put down some tables. It ch recharges pretty quickly. So you know, I can put down those tables. We can, we can make our way back over to that section of the uh, the level. And then I can just flip a table and get some kind of uh, iframes going on, you know? 
Like there, you know, that may have saved me some damage because I was immune to the uh, the contact damage at least. It, it, it gets to be a little bit finicky when you want to put down a table quickly because you got to press space E. But sometimes it, it does help out. Oop, you're not dead. I mean, sometimes just having a table is nice for, for cover. Where are you? I don't know. I don't know. This this could be good. I'm not super good at using portable table device. It's a little finicky just because of the the way that the item works. But we'll we'll give it a shot. We'll give it we'll give it our all. Somewhat. Hey, you know what? More armor. We have uh, armor synthesizer. I'm hoping that that's gonna give me a lot of HP as this run progresses. You know what, put down that explosive decoy. You know what room this is. I wish that the um, explosive decoy made a sound when it disappeared like the regular decoy, because what I'm noticing sometimes is when I put it down, Ooh, careful. When I put it down, sometimes I don't notice that it it has exploded because I can't hear it explode. There's a lot of stuff happening. Oh, you got sucked in. I didn't realize you could suck them in before they even had a chance to, of spawning. That's nice. No! Why, do, why no? Because I really was hoping for a table tech something. I am a big fan of flipping tables, though, so whenever I have an opportunity to flip tables, I like to see it. Can you row? Thank you for the follow. We're gonna spend money. We're gonna buy a key, we're gonna buy a, probably a full heart and a half heart, and the blanks. Are we gonna buy the blanks? We have three blanks. I could buy, like, one or two. I mean, Blobby Lord's not terribly difficult, but this is kind of a difficult time to be fighting him in our lives. I'll buy one. Pull LJ away. Get portable table device charged up. When, when would I use this, use this on the boss fight? I would use this on the boss fight when... When the boss makes the four rings that expand from the center. That would be ideal to use portable table device, I think, because I could put all of them down, flip them, not have to worry about actually maneuvering through the bullet patterns. Should be pretty simple. Numb of thumbs. Thank you for the follow and thank you for the bit, Pinero. I think I, I think I changed the settings. It's uh, ten bits and more for it to actually appear on the screen. So it's a little bit less spammy. Okay, let's go. Gorgon's gaze, pot shots. Pot shots is not terrible. I would like to avoid damage because I would like to um, keep. I got hit and use the blank. I hate it when that happens. I'd like to keep my armor intact. But you know what? Let's just stay here. <laughs> In the corner. I hate using a blank uh, after you've used armor already. I really wish that there was some way that the game could like detect that you've taken damage, that you meant to blank it, and then it just prevents the actual blanking. Fuck. Well, you know what? This is why we have... This is why we have the um, ammo synthesizer, right? Flip the table! Oh my fucking god. Ugh. The one problem with portable table device is that if it doesn't work, you're just left there like, well, why didn't, why didn't you dodge? I tried! Or I didn't think I needed to. I'm trying to flip tables, but they, they're not flipping. barely out of range. I keep trying to like spam space E too quickly, I think. I 
think you gotta have a little bit of a delay between the space and the E. If you try to flip it immediately, it doesn't work. That's what I think happens. Oh, I fucking just blew myself up. I hate, I hate those items that can hurt you when they explode like explosive decoy. I didn't, I mean, I didn't even mean to shoot it. It's just it spawned in front of me. Okay, you know what? Really don't like having the claw, but there's nothing we can do about it. You know what? That is, that is, <laughs> that is our lesson. That is our lesson room. And our lesson room is that the uh, portable table device is probably not as good as we're thinking it's gonna be for us. So let's let's not focus on that being the be all end all of the run, the thing that is gonna save it for us. We're still gonna have to play smart as opposed to taking a buttload of damage on the boss fight. Ultimately, I mean, we actually did end up taking a lot of damage there. And I don't remember if there was a secret room. I don't care, get me out of this floor. Ultimately, we didn't take too much damage. But yeah, that was... <laughs> that was ultimately a pretty disappointing fight. Portable table device is one of those items that's good, really good in theory, but then... Oh, fucking Christ. Clob snipers. It's one of those items that's really good in theory, but it, it has its problems in theory. And in our case, the problem in theory is uh, that you can't really use it immediately, that it is kind of tough to use. That if you try to rely on it to, you know, protect you from damage, it could end up costing you some damage. Because what ends up happening sometimes is you don't dodge because you think that you don't need to dodge and then you end up taking a hit because you should have dodged. <laughs> Still took damage, and I'm on fire, and I got hit again. Th this run, and it's pot shots, so I can't walk into the cursed ceramics. This run is going nowhere fast. I think that's what this boils down to. I think unless we get something super amazing here, this run is just gonna go nowhere. I don't want it to go nowhere. I want it to win. But we need to get like some some table tech items. We need to get something that can replace. Oh fuck! Something that can replace the um, explosive decoy, so it doesn't actually hurt us whenever we use it anymore. You know what I want? I want the portable table device to just flip the table immediately. Like I want it to just. Oh fucking Christ! I want it to put down the table and then flip it immediately, because I don't want to take the time to flip it myself. But that's probably too strong, because that just means that whenever you press space, you're just invincible for a minute. So I can understand that not being the, 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 the case, you know? <laughs> the KC, more like it. Oh, oh, oh. Let's just do the, the zone first. Getting plenty of key drops, which is nice, but we need to start rebuilding our HP up. Maybe what I should just be doing is putting down the tables ahead of time and then not worrying about quickly space eating them. Just like, put down some tables, use them if you need to, and if you don't need to, then you don't need to. You don't use the tables. I don't know, I'm trying to figure this out. Because they, they do recharge very quickly. So like in a room like this, you know, We put down the tables immediately, and then we just try to use them. I don't know, maybe that's the way to do it. Thermal clips. We'll do one. That's all. Oh, it's a freaking bullet shark. <laughs> that might be one case where I actually do use portable table correctly. Oh, I 
it stood on the rat trap like an idiot. Honestly, I'm disappointed in myself, because after the last run, you'd think I would be better at the game. <laughs> after watching the last run. Shitty invincibility? Um, Do I want that? Hey, Eggnarts. How's it going? I'm fine. Just struggling with some, some gungeon. Shitty invincibility. Uh... Yeah? Instead of explosive decoy? Really, it's like... Not that much of a difference. I mean, we should probably go use Fortune's Favor, right? Actually, you know what this is? The chest was wicked! Oh, hey. Fire immunity. It's real nice. I didn't even notice that the chest was wicked. We just lost a chest. A Sinner Grace chest too, which could have been amazing. Could have also just given us a gun though, so. I don't know, maybe this is what we want. Fortune's Favor plus Portable Table Device. I mean, I, oh. It's my least favorite item of all the items that grant you invincibility. Oh hey, look, a Sinner Grace chest. <laughs> I'll buy it because it's a chest that I can just pay for now, but it looks like there's actually going to be something else in the next room. What is this? Oh, it's the old crest room. Of course, of course. I hate when they pay out with guns, though. Pot shots, last bullet standing, blobby one rancher. Shop. Uh, there is stuff past the shop. We won't have enough money, I don't, I don't think, for the... <sighs> for the... Uh, the rat's key, unfortunately. I don't know if I'm okay. I think I'm okay with that. I tell you what, let's lure LJ away. We'll fight the boss with one blank. We'll see what happens. Be not the Gorgon. Be the holster again. Pot shots, high stress. Hot shots kind of sucks. But otherwise, I think this is okay. And you know what What I like about this? No! I was gonna say I could just put the tables down and then flip them. I, I flipped the table! Where was my invincibility? Okay, well, you know what? F portable table device. It sucks without getting an actual synergy with it. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. I don't know what happened there, because that wasn't nearly long enough invincibility when I flipped that third table. I wanted to just, I wanted to flip all three of them, wait for that enemy to spawn, and then I was gonna, you know, duck around him. I don't know what happened there. Maybe those tables don't give you as long of invincibility, and if that's the case, that's... It actually makes sense, because you do get reusable invincibility, essentially, but it it's something that I wish was a little bit apparent, you know? If that, like, if that is the case, if that's true, that they just don't give you as long of a period of invincibility, then I wish it was, like, a part of the item description or something. We'll see. Oh, I don't even have the item. I can, I can look at it in the Ammonomicon, at least. Where is it? Portable Table BS. Like, even if it says something like, not as good as regular tables, nope. Nothing. So I don't know, I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I was just overthinking the situation. Maybe I thought that the uh, invincibility would last for longer and it just doesn't. But it definitely felt like it should have lasted for a little bit longer there, but you know what, whatever. That run sucked anyways. <laughs> The thing is, is that it, it really kind of did and didn't at the same time. Like, if you are good with portable tables, I think that that's a great start for you. I think that that's a great run for you. But unfortunately, I'm not good with portable tables. Well... 
actually can kind of kill enemies while jammed, but it's very tricky. Well, not anymore. I wish the beam fired straight on the on the laser there. Wyvern Rancher goals revenge. Javi, eat boop. Thank you for that. Okay, my spirits have now been lifted. All right. We got this. This is the run. We got in, we we have all the the bullshit out of the way. Now we're just the only thing remaining now is a great run. Although the last one is pretty good. I'm not going to say that the last run wasn't wasn't good. Come on! Fire the gun! I hate getting a beam gun because you uh, can't shoot it until you press the trigger again. It's a gun. I will pick it up. Ooh, we sh shouldn't be shooting our money. This is the urn! This is the one! Last spell standing thermal clips. Change my gun! Don't want to shoot all of my money. It's a good gun, like it really is. Where are you going? <laughs> I just hate that you shoot like 30 cents and you can't control it. Dark was the night, thermal clips. Don't burn yourself. Well, it's either burn or poison at this point. Pick, pick your poison. Well, it's not. Pick your poison, it's pick whether or not you want to be poisoned. That's a key bullet kin. Who spawned a ghost when he died? That's not great. Well, we should probably focus on the ghost. But he is jammed, so he will take a million years to, to die. This is not good. Get out, get out! Where are all the ghosts? Are they dead? I haven't been noticing them dying. But then again, I, I do think it is kind of a little hard to, to hear sometimes with the AG and D new sound system. <laughs> Fuck you, game. The AG and D sound system does make it a little hard to hear sometimes. Last bullet standing, Gorgon's gaze. Okay. Oh! I expected the book to shoot immediately, and instead it walked towards me. Scary. Scary book ghost time! Well, there's LJ. Hi, LJ! No, we're not gonna do this quite yet. We're gonna wait for a minute. Poison pursuit, so you know what I'm gonna do. What water barrel? Dink. Let's go down here. Uh, I like that there is a vampire in the shop. That means I can get a little bit of extra money out of this floor if need be. I mean, we should probably just do it anyways. I mean, it's a good deal. Shit, I did get hit by him. Oh, it's the Patriot. I was wondering what this gun was. Couldn't figure it out. See, because it was the Patriot. Well, I guess now we're not going to be getting rid of money. Because um, we're going to want all the money. What are you doing? Shoot it! <laughs> I didn't mean to teleport away from it. So, both chests either were nothing or we just missed out on it. Do I really want portable table device? I mean... If I can get a table tech item, I think it's worth it, so I will hold on to it. I guess I'll try to use it on boss fights or something. Maybe it will help, but I'm really hoping that we can just get like a table tech blank to make it really kind of pop off. Gold's Revenge Hammer Time! Well, this sucks. No, oh, where am I?
I can't see. I can't... I can't feel. Oh, I got hit because the game lagged! Fucking lovely. And that w was because of lag. Okay, and I'm dead. Oh, do another one. Do another one. Okay, that one got that one got all of the all the badness out of it. All the badness is now out of the game system. Now we're gonna have a good run. <laughs> one day, man. One day we'll get it. You know what? Do another one. Now that wasn't the run. That 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 RNG seed. That was a bad one. That was a bad. Seed. This is this is the good seed. This one right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one. Yeah. yeah. Hammer time. Goals revenge. Goal fights. And then it lagged right as I ma I made that dodge. Okay. I know a lot of times it's like I thought I had that dodge. I made that dodge. Game fuck me on that one. You should believe me, Eggnarts. This is the one. We're gonna win. BCDD20 mode T will be complete. And I'll be like, I told you so. I told you this will be the one. I told you. Hey, a good gun. Shockwave, Curse Ceramics. I will do it. I will complete this mode. Even if I have to stream for six million hours, like I did that one time. The first time I did BCDD20 without the T part of it. I did do like a, a 12 hour stream just to try to complete this objective. What do we get? Flare gun and a key. Well, you know what? At least there's no reason to worry about spending my money on the first floor because there is nothing. Give me... Give me that sh the, the shops that give me like six amulets because that was a good run. I had a lot of fun on that one. Yeah, I'll tr change my gun. Okay, well, we've gotta try to put out the wick on the chest. So let's teleport. Nope. Fuck. There goes a the green chest. Hopefully that was the gun. We won't know until we find the other chest, but hopefully that was just the gun that was destroyed. Last bullet standing, ghost in the shell, and the water barrel is on the top left. No ghosts. No ghosts, let's go. No, you should believe that I'll do it on this run, not just eventually. This is the run. This is the one run. It's already won, you just don't know it yet. Get rid of all of the pots. I think in um, AG and D, I would rather have the Gemini Carbine than Polaris on a regular run. <laughs> but maybe not on a regular run, but on these these runs, absolutely. Like, at least the Gemini Carbine shoots at a fast rate of fire. Ah, excuse me, I had to sneeze. I ain't afraid of no sleep. I ain't afraid of no bed. Freaky ghost bed. I love that video. Not poison! The ghost can't be poisoned, except he can, just not with this gun! Get me out of this room. Get me out of this room. Dark was the night, explosive pyre. I, you know what I should do in the future, I think, when I get chests that spawn I'm gonna not open them immediately because whenever I do that like the next room is usually the the chest and then I have to blow it up because it's wicked that's not the first time that's happened I gotta stop doing that 
Because unless we get Sir Junk and now we just have... Well, I mean, we didn't have Junk from the other chest because it blew up! But I gotta stop doing that. End up getting my freaking chest destroyed for basically no reason. Hey. That's a fun gun. That's a gun that I only see in these these game modes. Okay, Bullet King, Blobulon Rancher, Shockwave. Not terrible, but the Blobulon Rancher modifier does suck a lot. In actuality, the um the uh Shockwave modifier sucks too. I had to dodge the shockwave. It just you end up using your blanks too much on the on d d disrupting the shockwave, which always is annoying to have to do. Sawed off is not the best shotgun in the world, but maybe we can make it work. Sweet. Okay, we got the flawless. Again, as long as it's not the freaking trigger twins, we're good. If it's ever the trigger twins, you might as well just say, "Ah, no flawless for us today." Ugh. Oh. Okay, there's a secret room. There are no blanks for sale, though. And I can't hurt myself, I don't think. So we're not gonna be able to access the secret room. Lovely. So this floor gave us nothing. It gave me one junk and 87 bucks. And then I heard a shop, and I heard a lot of items in that shop disappear, which is not a good sign. You want items to be in your shop available for purchase. So unfortunately, you know, we'll see what, what we end up getting later, but do not expect much from the shop on this floor. It's okay, we had armor. An interesting way to go about it, isn't it? Shouldn't be dodge rolling, but I actually do want them at some times to be coming towards me. No! Good. Still at full health. There's <laughs> a bad dodge roll into the shockwave laser. I don't like shockwave lasers, get out of here. I don't like that they stick around. I wish that they would just disappear. Make them a lot better. It'd make it a lot more of a fair modifier, because it is one of the more difficult modifiers, and I guess it don't have to be balanced with one another, but it is much more difficult than the other ones. This is not good. It's another gun that kind of has its own idea of targeting, so... Hey, we got him. So it's gonna be extremely difficult to actually get kills at some times. Why did those enemies disappear? Uh, they got eaten by a shark, so they didn't drop bodies. I answered my question after I asked it. it happens with the uh, Blobulons, too. The, the, the big bloody ones. The bloody lawns. If they get hit by a shark, they won't explode into bullets when they die. I'm not too worried about an LJ boss fight. There's no flawless up for grabs anyways. But let's try not to, you know, lose all of our HP on this floor. Like we did on the last floor, or on the last run attempt. Fucking pot shots! Need to be focusing specific enemies, I think. It's just, it's so hard to focus on the pots on the edge of the room, the rat traps, the bullets coming at you, LJ's positioning, the enemies that are going to be shooting in front of you, making sure that you have rooms to dodge in. Human brain cannot process this amount of information. 
the rat traps that are in, well, it, that actually wasn't invisible. It was just underneath debris. Right there. It's very hard to see, but it was visible. Okay, and you know what? I'm not going to learn my lesson. I'm just going to open it immediately. Because <laughs> if it was a gun, we could change away from the gun that we currently have. Which is not very good for us. Thermal Clip Shockwave. How did I not get hit by the uh, fire there? How did I jump into the laser on that one? Oh, God damn it. I don't really mean to be creating this much fire. I'm just accidentally reloading at times. Or I should say not reloading when I should be. Oh, we've done it. A key. We can open one chest and it gave us the Huntsman. Well, the other chest we know that we're gonna wanna open. You know, I should pick it up. And now we have cheaper shop prices. Okay, now we go to the shop. And there is a dude there. We can buy the owl and maybe some amulets. Okay, okay. We've got something, we've got something going on for us now. How much is that owl, dude? 104. I can I can buy that. 104 is not is not too much for me. We're buying the owl. We have to. The owl's too good. I just I do not want this guy to mess up the shop. We're going to we're going to we're gonna try to do this very carefully. You go ahead and swing. We're gonna buy the owl. We're gonna teleport away. There are keys available that I would like to pick up though. There are also ammo lits. We have lower shot prices because of the gun we're holding, so we should buy stuff now. And if we can buy an ammo lit, we should. We can't afford it. Would we rather have a key to open up a chest to get a random item, or would we rather have an ammo lit? I think I'd rather have a, an amulet. I'd rather have the, the chaos amulet. That's extremely good, but I don't think we'll be able to afford it. I'll buy the key. I'll buy the key because it's on sale. Due to the fact that we have this gun. And then we'll we'll hope that we can get enough money. We It's possible that we'll get enough money for one amulet. We won't be able to afford the chaos amulet unless we steal it. Or get, you know, very lucky and get like a... I don't know what would do it. A uh, briefcase of cash or something. That could do it for us. Fuck you, Blob. I can't choose my gun. I don't remember that there being a secret room, but I should have probably just gone and looked at some walls while we're holding a little bomber. Just get away from me. <laughs> just leave me alone for a moment. Thank you, good lord. Ceramics Blimey Line Rancher. I mean, these shots will explode on impact, so we can deal with the Cursed Ceramics right now and just kind of shoot willy nilly without actually caring. Which is why, one reason why I do like the Deckard here, like in BCDD 20 Ts, because whenever you get it, you don't have to worry about Blimey Line Rancher at all, because the blobs die instantly. Okay, a little bit of extra money. I mean, the jammed enemies should eventually drop enough money that we can afford whatever we want, you know? It's pot shots. Yeah, and I rolled into a bullet. I dodged the, the pot shot bullet and the blue shotgunner bullet. Get hit by the freaking dude. Is 
Yes, why? Give me this gun! We've got to get the ammo lit. We gotta get something that can synergize with the owl, even if it all it is is just a little bit of poison. A little bit of poison is better than no poison. That's what I've always said. In fact, if I find a, a situation in which I have Blobulon Rancher, I might spawn an infinite number of blobs in order to get an infinite number of money. I don't like doing that, but this might be a run in which that's the best thing that we could do. <laughs> for ourselves, for our chances of winning. Okay, just focus on dodging, this room's not tough. Uh, where is the king? Did we kill him? I think we killed him already. I don't remember killing him, but... I'm able to shoot people, and they are dying, so... I mean, the owl does shoot shots on occasion, but that's not why we have it. We have the owl for the blanking, for the synergizing with the amulets and stuff. Thermal clips don't blink. Well, you know what I like about this? I'm doing this in a very stupid manner. but it should be pretty easy for us to kill these enemies while they're all jammed. And taking a full heart of damage. You know what? That's worth it if we can buy some, some extra stuff here. Oh, this is much more difficult. Oh, I should I should be dead. You know what? Fuck. Oh, oh god damn it. It scared the shit out of me. I forgot that two blobs spawn in the opposite corners of the map. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> I completely forgot that two blobs spawn in opposite corners of this room. Uh that and that wasn't that wasn't me trying to kill enemies while jam that got me killed. That was just I forgot that there was a blob there. I mean, I did get hit by a jam bullet once, but <laughs> 